Hello everyone, welcome to my back to my Let's Play of Dark Souls Remastered, and uh, yeah, we're starting this off with me getting invaded. I literally just reversed my hollowing. Hmm, ninja flippering. Okay. I'm actually impressed because he failed that parry. On my screen, I hit him. <sighs> but, welcome to the second biggest area for getting invaded. Ulysseal Township. The issue is, is I kind of need to not be hollow for this area. So let's make this quick, kindle the bonfire, and get ready to move. I keep an eye behind me so I can at least keep tabs if I'm about to get invaded. No fog, which means I'm not getting invaded yet. Anyways, I've done some grinding. I now have my armor all plus five since it's Twinkling Titanite. And now we can get moving. I did the grinding off camera just because you guys had already seen me grind in the last video. I ground up my souls, bought the Twinkling Titanite. Basically got all that stuff running. And then there's these abominations. Which, I'm not going to spare you the details. These are people corrupted by the Abyss. Or were people that are now corrupted by the Abyss. They're also psychopaths now. But, by all accounts, they're still people. And I'm putting them out of their misery. This is also where we get the issue of the spells that are now cast in this this area, which is Hexes. Something that would later not, well, would not be added until the next game. Oh yeah, they also dropped large titanite. The issue with this area I have is one of the things I need... Well, kind of requires me to be able to use a light source, which I was stupid enough to get rid of the sunlight maggot. Yep, nope, nuh-uh, no. Soul of a Brave Warrior, I'll take. That's where I came from, so I'm going to drop down here. Oh, yeah. Hello there, Chester. He also has a very unique uh, build. And a very unique weapon. He also has that stupid leg sweep. Which, he also has those stupid throwing knives, which are instant bleed damage. God, I forgot about that. Chester is a unique NPC encounter. Because he's also a pain in the neck. But that's not going to stop me. Now that I remember he's here, 
I got a gift for him. He may be nimble, but I don't think he's nimbler than magma. Plus, I have the Estus Flask advantage. Now let's bait all these guys up. We'll get them to follow me. And then... Skidoo! Yeah, if you want to farm large titanite, this is another area, but it's later in the game, so I wouldn't recommend it. If you're going to go for large titanite, I'd rather go with the green guys. They're so much easier to farm. They have a lower drop rate. But if you need large titanite at this point, you are in bad shape. Also, these guys hit a lot harder, so... Yeah. You know what? You're gonna keep running from me. I'm just gonna do that. Let's step down here. Ready the fireball. Enjoy burning to death, Chester. <sighs> yeah, he's a little bit of a headache. But that's only one of his invasions. I think if I remember correctly, he invades you three times. But first... That one didn't go as planned. Oh yeah, those are the carvings that allow you to speak with people, technically. Yep, there it is. Does a lot of damage, and also... Hurts. But right now, that's not the point. Also, these are the red-eyed ones, which... While easily staggered, like the others... Also hurt worse. And that one I was smart enough not to get jumped by. I remember you, you stupid heathen. Rubbish. And I'm saving up my souls right now because I don't know if what I need will be available to me. Crazy laughing heathens. Let's play. Let me see. If I can... Bullseye! That's what I needed.
Gotcha. Let's first, using a bow, knock that down. Finicky to hit, but if you can hit it just right. Let me try hitting the body. Hmm. No, screw it. I'm not going to waste my arrows. Let's kill you first. Really? <sighs> Hold on. Let me try swapping rings. Oh, yeah. That's another ring I picked. Oh, I know you guys were here for that. Never mind. Let me just... One. Two. Three. One. Two. Oh, you dodged. Let me try moving a little bit farther down. And then I should be able to... First off... Nope. Okay. There are some wall hacks here. But whatever. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's also a toxic fog. Yeah, I figured there's nothing there. Uh, let's see here. Oh, that item did get dropped. Awesome. Also, yeah, ignore that. Um, that's just the screams of people who've died here. And the last of the souls that remain of the psychopaths. Yeah, this area is completely messed up if you look at the backstory of it. But, you ignore the backstory, it's not too bad. I say through teeth that know exactly what happened here. Let's get rid of you. The crest key. Ah, the key we need to meet our old, our good friend. Let's kill you. Need fire. Ha ha, I get the joke. But in all seriousness, if you carefully maneuver your way around here, I think there's a good item here. I might be wrong. Oh yeah, there is. Twin Humanities. Mind you, humanity's not even going to be a problem by the end of this. Trust me. I will suggest being very careful when you drop down. That's dark fog. One of the hexes you can get, you know, before Dark Souls 2. You can get three of them in this game right now. Which is Dark Fog, Dark Orb, and Dark Hail. All three combined are a pretty versatile um, intelligence spell casting thing. I won't lie, I'm not a spell caster in the slightest, in this, any sense of the word. I do not run spell casting builds, that's just never been my thing. There's also a way you're supposed to be able to get over there. I'm going to try to figure that out. Oh, I know that's how. Soul of a hero.
Stop cackling, you heathen. Oh, he's dead. Also, I can now swap back to... Nope. The Hornet's Ring. I'm also going to activate my for first shortcut. There's a lot of shortcuts, I promise you. But I'm activating the first one for a reason. This one will save you a lot of trouble. Yeah. Literally that well right there was a shortcut. And a good one too. But I'm going to rest at the bonfire, kindle it, just so I can have them. Oh, my Estus. And then I'm going to make a pit stop. Let's warp to, where is it? Undead Parish. That's where I need to go, I think. Yeah, that's the closest one. If I'm doing my math correctly, I should... Let me check my stats. 11 intelligence. I might have to drop a point into intelligence. Maybe two? I don't think it costs that much to use the spell I need. Plus, it's the only a one-time use spell that I need. I could have got it way earlier. But, um... Yeah, for lack of a better term, I didn't need it till now. And I wouldn't have needed it if I had the Sunlight Maggot. So, oops. I'm an idiot. Yeah, yeah. Dark Root Garden, I know. Now let's keep this guy from following me. And until I get to the bottom, I really don't have to worry about enemies. Actually, now that I think about it, other than Titanite Chunks, I don't have to worry about anything. The issue is, is where I need to farm Titanite Chunks. Yeah, the pain in my voice should tell you everything. It's not fun. Or an area I like to even go to. And we've technically already been there. Because we had to be. I'm also going to just... What is it? Uh... Equipped. I know I have one. Where is it? Do I seriously not have one anymore? Did I did I use that already? But uh yeah. I thought I had a homeward bone, so I may be just losing my mind. I'm also gonna crack all these just to save me the trouble for later. Cause at least I know I'll have the souls for the spell and the level up if I need it. Plus, I may have to go buy an item. I don't want to, but I may have to. Take what you can get. Let's first deal with big, bad, and uglies. A lot of big, bad, and uglies at that. Hey! Hey! Don't run from me! Die! Oh yeah, these things you can also farm blue titanite chunks from. If you ever needed, you know, to farm them up for magic weapons. Not my forte. Again, I'm not a magic weapon user. But, you know, if you're going for a melee-based magic build, it doesn't hurt. But I'm here for... Earther thing. It's supposed to be right here. Am I getting jibbed or something? Hold on. Her summoning thing is supposed to be right here. Or is it because I went back to the past so that it no longer spawns? Oh, wait, yeah, because it said she got kidnapped. Right, right, right. Ah, oh, boy. Hold on. I know what to do. I am not entirely an idiot. Just a slight bit of... Ah, uh, crap. I got rid of that ring because I didn't think I needed it. So, sorry, folks. It's going to be a little bit of a trudge to get where I need to go. Yay. In all seriousness, no. 
though. This did not go as planned. But I plan on fixing that. You know, once I actually get where I'm going. Thankfully, there's another salesperson that sells the same spells. Too bad I didn't save the rusted iron ring. Or I would do this uh, a lot faster. Yeah, yeah. We've already seen this. Skip the intro. Rested bonfire. Warp. Only seal sanctuary. <sighs> Sorry. Just a little bit of a headache from all this. I'm going to be, pre these are both going to be pre-recordings for videos, so if you're wondering why I seem exhausted, I'm recording multiple videos in a day to post them. So some of these spell, well some of these things you'll see are me just like back-to-back -back recording, so some of them I'll sound tired, but it's not your all's fault. Openly, it's mine. I have enough to use it. I can't use the stupid spell, though. Because to use the spell, I need more intelligence than I have. Yeah, yeah, I know. I can't cast it. Yet. I'm also going to bring that. <sighs> okay, so slight few setbacks, but I'm hoping to fix that pretty soon. Now, again, you can avoid Chester just by killing them early. I don't like to do that because I find if you go back and kill him, it's actually more satisfying because then you realize how much of a scumbag he is. But you do you, boo. For me, I'll just stick with setting my enemies on fire. And getting out of my way. Dadgummit! I know where I'm on spawning, so I'm getting the heck out. Yoink. I don't know if he can send the elevator back up, but I know I've outrun him. Oh, crap! Oh, he can use the elevator. Oh, wow, you prick. Yeah, yeah, I kind of expected it, but at the same time, didn't. Let's... Lulaseal Township. And let's get this ball rolling again. So, rest of the bonfire, reverse hollowing. There, I don't look like beef jerky anymore. That's another thing I like about Dark Souls 3. That, um... Well, for lack of a better term, they created an item just to prevent you from looking like a... Well, a piece of cheap beef jerky that you get somewhere like a dollar store. Ooh. 
Fancy footwork. Also, some enemies are pretty stupid, so I've had a few that'll just follow you down here. Like, while you're still going down the elevator. And it's hilarious sometimes. Yeah, no, I ain't dealing with this. Killing you all now. Before you become a problem. Because it's the spellcasters that are the problem childs here. Now let's start picking them off one by one. Never mind. There. I'm pretty sure if I was not paying attention, I would have just got slapped. I'm also, yeah, I knew it. There was another soul thing here. So eerie here. Now this spot right here, there is an enemy. I will not recommend fighting head on. Ranged combat and spells I would recommend. Mainly because my spells hit like a truck. This thing physically hits so much harder. Plus it dings your most of your damage. I don't know what this thing is. Out of all the item things you can get, I have never found out what this thing is. All I know is it gives you that. It gives you chainmail leggings. Thank you? Oh, right. Guard up as soon as this thing comes up. For that reason. Yeah, that guy will jump you pretty quickly. And then, of course, we get here. Which, dumping another into intelligence. We get somewhere that's semi-dark? I can't really call it dark, but, uh, it is dark. Chasm of the Abyss. Yeah, and if you're like me, you saw that, and your first thought is, ah, I can't see crap. Yeah. This whole area is pretty stinking dark. Which is another reason to have the maggot. Which I'm an idiot and got rid of. Or at least the skull lantern. Oh, like seriously. I was done an idiot and I still had them. I'm pretty sure this would be over by now. Well, yeah, I'm not going into the dark because one of those is a spellcaster and it will run my fade. So line it up. Yeet.
Yeah. Nope. No. I think this is, yep, dark beads or dark hail. But this is not the reason I hate this area. We're getting to that. First, I am going to dip back this way because I remember you exist. Because there was a trend that kind of formed uh, after this game with the DLC. You see those? That is living humanity. Now, why is that such a problem? Especially to someone like me. Let me explain. This is... Living humanity has a very unique factor. It does more damage the more humanity you have. Meaning, the more humanity you have in your system, the more damage it does. However, they do not have a lot of health, which does come with some benefits. I.e., me just chucking fireballs and letting them die pretty quickly. Also, instead of doing regular damage, they do constant damage. Which means unless you kill them pretty quickly, that happens. That damage compounds. Oh! Yep, yep, yep. Now I remember the other issue. Let me back up. Heal. Oh! How did that reach? Okay, so yeah, this is going to be a problem. However, that problem has a solution. Grit, spit, and duct tape. Now, I am not going to fight the boss yet. I'm just going to clear out this area because there's something specific I need here. Hidden path ahead. That is a blatant lie. Sort of. There is technically a way you can skip up ahead. Gotcha. White Titanite Chunk, aka good for holy weapons, not good for much of anything else. There it is. That's the trick. And now you have, don't have to deal with all those guys. Also, I'm going to do something else, which is smart. Since I could see this guy from a distance... I'm going to rip him a new one. Awesome. Oh yeah, and your shield literally does nothing here, so your best bet, keep moving, don't let him touch you. Grab your crap and heal. And then do what I do, which is bloody yeet. Yeet your fire, yeet everything you need at them.
Also, the bigger humanity creatures actually have a chance of dropping a twin humanity. So if you're low on humanity, this is literally your second... Actually, it's your best farming place. Oh yeah, you remember the cat thing? Yeah. That... Follow that cat. In all regard, that cat will lead you to something great. You know, when my controller decides to actually want to function correctly. Oh, right. First off, it does lead you to a shortcut, but that's not what we're here for. It leads you to a hidden wall. And behind this wall is a friend that we must rescue. A friend from the past, if you will. Which I'm going to pick these things off from a distance because I'm not getting swarmed. Yeah, a bow is your best friend sometimes, so never doubt the power of a bow or a crossbow. Especially if you are a pretty good shot. Oh, I knocked that one off the cliff. Hello, Sif. The Cleansing Great Shield, or the shield that he just, that was protecting him the entire time. Yep. Doggo had a big shield protecting him. And when I say big shield, I'll, I'll give you an example. I don't have the strength to wield this thing, but that puppy's big. I mean, it is called a Great Shield. For strength combat, that thing is God tier. For anything else, it kind of sucks. Wait, I forgot. Where does this lead me out at? Oh, yeah. Here. Near Chester the Backstabber. Oh, you have quite some uh, fun then. Uh, you don't have anything I need. I'll be seeing you if you survive. I don't like you. However, he's not wrong. Also, hold on. I know I have the emote. I'm going to pay respects to one of the best boss fights in the game. Artorius the Abyss Walker. Uh. Random rubbish. I feel like someone's just trying to mock me now. But I need to go for something real quick. Which also might give me the souls I need to actually, you know... What is it? Level up just enough to use cast light. Oh, right, right, right. Hornet ring. Ha-ha! <laughs> Yeet. Now, uh, I'm gonna say this. I don't think I'm ever gonna... I'm not... Don't think this episode I'm gonna fight either boss. Not saying I can't? I'm just saying I don't think I'm going to have the ability to. Oh my gosh. Freaking Amon. My guy, lay off. Alright. Alright. 
Sit down! How did you get behind me? Hold up, hold up. You're not stupid. Don't you bow! You cheated! <sighs> you know what? I don't need the humanity right now. I don't need to be unhollow. So I'll just do my crap now while I can. The odd part is, is, I thought Chester invaded you more than once. Hmm, I could be wrong. Or, Chester just hasn't decided to invade recently. But I know there's an area I need to go to. And it's up here. Ow, rude. I think it's right over here is where I need to go. Yes, it is. I did say I was going for probably enough souls to actually get the spell use. So let's first get where I need to go. No, that's not it. I think I did need to go down there. Let me check. Yep, yeah, I did. Plunging him was just a bonus. But there's an area that says you need to shed some light on it. I think it's... Let there be light, that's it. Oh crap, I forgot you do poison damage. Hold on. Oh, I got rid of them all. Hmm. Whatever. I'm not too fussed. That's what I'm more fussed about. Okay, this is an actual chest. Dark Orb. Not quite what we're looking for, but not a bad item either. Unlike Toxic, this damage takes forever to go away, but it's super slow. Also, off my platform! Oh, there's no sorry heathens. I feel
feel like there's something I'm missing, though. No, that's not it. I need to go up one more. I think that's the way I came, so it's here I need to go. Yep, there it is. Roll there, so you don't go all the way off. Soul of a Brave Warrior. Then roll down to here. And now I just gotta get the souls. Actually, how many souls do I need to level up compared to how many I have? I need... How many souls do I need to level up? It does not say. Crap. Well, need be I can grind off camera. If it's not a whole lot, I'll go see what, how much that pendant is worth. Actually, I could kill Chester real quick. I mean, he's nothing but a pain in the neck anyways. So let's first rest here. Hmm. Patch up my stuff real quick. Now let's go pay Chester a visit. If there's still, if it's still not enough souls, I'll uh, go back to uh, Frampton and get some stuff. But what I need behind that wall is required to survive the boss fight. Mercy does not come to those who decide to backstab me. I think that's actually enough to level up, though. Which means... I can get the item I need. And then I can get rid of Cast Light. Had to spend three whole levels just to get Intelligence. To use a one spell I'm never going to use again after this. Still don't even have enough. Hold on. Let's talk to Frampt. Frampt, I need some stupid crap. Do not tell me you're you're asleep. You wake up. No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, <coughs> I'm wide awake. Do not treat me like an old withering snake. You are. I am. Is it? Yes, it's urgent. Sell those. Sell that. I need that. I don't need that. And I don't need that. Don't need that. I need that. Don't need that anymore. Now then. With one last leap. And a lot of regret. I can now use Cast Light. Which, for the time being, no, I keep the shield. I'm going to equip that there. Just so I can use it when I get there. <sighs> the fact that I'm doing this 
not because I want to, but because I have to. And all because I'm an idiot when it came to my spells. Folks, don't ever, ever think I'm not, you're not going to need something. If there's a reason it's very important in the game, there's probably a reason you're going to need it. I promise you. Because now we see my mistakes. Also, these things can rarely drop humanity, but I wouldn't be reliant on them dropping it. It's very rare. They do drop a lot of large Titanite shards, so if you're ever trying to be like, you know, I'm going to change my weapons. This is the place to actually get the weaponry for it. But anyways, let's head back this way. And of course, if you're going to do it, two-handed plunging always helps. Swap over to cast light. Oh, nope, no, nope. This way. All this for the silver pendant. Now I can hear you saying... What's the silver pendant do? In the long run, a lot. For the moment, absolutely nothing. Because there's only one boss that item's required for. Yeah, I literally got an item just to survive one boss. But, as I said, all bosses, so it's required. So I say betwixt teeth that knows that this boss is also going to be the hardest fight. So, yeah. I got my one item I need for the boss fight. Oh, wait, no, yeah, I'm heading the right way. So, yeah, I got my item. I no longer need this spell. Next episode, actually, before we do that, I'm going to go talk to our friend here. It'll be quick, and it's not really intrusive, so let's go talk to him real quick. I mean, we got to talk to him anyways for the final boss fight of the DLC. So, I don't see a problem in it. Plus, I got six minutes. I can handle that. So, you remember that key we got earlier? The uh, crest key? We head all the way up here. Man, I really need to dump some more into Endurance. And you hear that carving sound. I'm going to buy a few homeward bones off of him. Never hurts to have those. And buy each of his carvings. It makes him happy. Oh yeah, this is Goth. And if you're wondering who Goth is, um... Well, you know how Ornstein was one of the uh, big knights of 
of uh, an Orlando. Yeah, meet one of the other two. Well, other three. Let me rephrase that. There were four knights of an Orlando. Artorius the Abyss Walker, Ornstein the Dragon Slayer, the firstborn of Gwyn, which nobody knows the name of, but you do technically get to fight in Dark Souls 3, although he goes by the term Nameless King. And then, well, Goth. Goff is blind now, but back when he wasn't blind, holy crap, he was a crack shot. There's a reason you could buy arrows off him, as well as a great bow. Well, killing him gives you the great bow, but why would you kill a blind guy? Not to mention a peaceful blind guy. I'm also going to kill this bonfire once. Less people invade down here due to it being dark, so I'm pretty sure I'm safe. All my stuff is maxed out. Repair my equipment. Attune magic and get that stupid thing out of here. And I'm going to get... You know what? Let's go with fire whip. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, yeah, fire whip. No. Mm, I'm gonna go with Fire Orb. Anyways, thank you all for watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe. And, uh, well, honestly, if you also want to, share with your friends. I'm always welcome to have new subscribers and new friends to watch my content. And until next time, rest easy, adventurer.